Hi, and welcome to this month's Plate It Up Kentucky Proud Recipe segment. My name is Kelly Burgess, the Family Consumer Sciences Extension Agent for the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service in Allen County. I'm really excited to share today's recipe with you for the month of October. Um, and you might have been expecting pumpkin, as is kind of traditional to uh, do something with in October. But I've taken a little different spin on today, and I think that you're really going to enjoy it. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about a healthy tailgate uh, appetizer option. So we are at the peak of football season. Hopefully you're getting to enjoy uh, some games with your friends or family. Uh, so whether you're eating at home or uh, in a tailgate situation, I think this would be a really great appetizer to share with your family and friends. So we will be making cauliflower mushroom poppers. So it might remind you a little bit of jalapeno poppers, similar kind of idea, but with a healthier twist. So I'll go ahead and get started on our ingredients. We have one head of cauliflower, and what I've already done is I've already steamed it, which is a super simple process. All we do is just boil it uh, for five minutes. So you put just a, about a half an inch of water in the bottom of a pan, chop up your cauliflower into some smallish pieces and boil that for about five minutes until it's tender. Then you're ready to go. So that's what I've done so far to get our head of cauliflower to our uh, chopped cauliflower state. And then we have about 60 uh, baby portobello mushrooms. You can probably use a different variety if you prefer or you can use the larger ones if you're okay with cutting them up. But I really like the baby portobello mushrooms so that each person can have their own bite. Uh, and it doesn't turn into a situation where we're all touching the same food items. Uh, okay, then next we have a half cup each of green bell pepper and red bell pepper. We reserve one half cup of the stems from our mushrooms, which I'll show you how we'll clean those in just a moment. And then we have a cup of plain non-fat yogurt. We have a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, just the uh, kind that you can buy in a shaker. And then our spices, well, I'll touch on our dry ingredient. We have um, three quarters cup of bran flakes, and then we have one teaspoon of salt, and eight, or sorry, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, um, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and then paprika to sprinkle over top. So this makes a really pretty and delicious dish. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first task is going to be to mash our cauliflower. So I'm going to move this bowl to the front and center position so you can see. And I've chosen to use a potato masher today. These work really well. You might have a potato masher that's more of the rounded with the slots in between. That works well too. But what we're going to need to do is just mash this in our bowl. And so it can be a little bit challenging. This is where you want to make sure that your cauliflower is cooked to the point that it's soft. So if you find after five minutes, if it's not soft enough to mash, go ahead and just cook it a little bit longer. Um, even though that's what our recipe said, I actually had to cook mine a little bit longer this time in order to get it um, broken down enough to be able to mash. So this might be better um, in the bottom of your saucepan. If you use the pan that you cooked it in that has a flat bottom, I'm finding out with this bowl that the curved bottom is a little bit more challenging. But that's okay, it doesn't mean that you can't do it. We'll get it mashed up in just a moment. So while we're talking about cauliflower, I'll share a few nutrition facts. One half cup only has 25 calories, which is very low calories for a vegetable, um, especially for the nutritional bang for your buck that you get. So that half cup serving has 100% of your daily vitamin C needs. And it also has 8% um, of your uh, fiber needs. So you get a lot of benefits by enjoying cauliflower. So this is a new way that you can do that. Alrighty, I'm pretty happy with that. We will leave it, leave it at that point. Let's pick up our uh, escapees here. <laughs> so there's our cauliflower all nice and mashed. And now that that's taken care of, let me show you how to clean our mushrooms. So these are the baby portobello mushrooms. And all we're going to do, it's very simple, is to remove the stem. So to do that, you just gently pull and it comes out just uh, clean like that. So then what we'll need to do is take a spoon and just scrape out this extra that is gathered around the top. You want to be careful you don't get too much of the mushroom off. 
And then we're just going to lay those in a greased baking dish. If you were doing a full batch, you would probably want to use about a 13 by 9 dish. Um, I am actually making half a batch right now, so I'm going to use a little smaller dish. Uh, but we just want to scrape out that white, uh, that white inner lining. That way there's a space for our filling to go. So we have that mushroom cleaned out. We'll just add a few more to our pan. I went ahead and did a few because this part is a little bit more time consuming than the rest of the recipe. Not difficult, just takes a few moments to go through with a spoon and clean out the mushrooms. I just used a regular teaspoon. I feel like that works great as far as scraping them out. And let me just try and get one more in here and then we'll be ready to move on. Let's see. Another fun fact about cauliflower is that there is actually purple and orange cauliflower as well. Now, most of us think of cauliflower as being white, uh, such as the one that I have here today. But at a local farmer's market or somewhere that has a little bit different variety of vegetables, you might see purple and orange cauliflower. So be on the lookout for that at your local markets. All right, you can see we've filled up our greased baking dish with our mushroom tops. So I'm gonna set these aside and then we'll work on our filling mixture. So next I'm gonna grab my large bowl and we're gonna start by adding our wetter ingredients. So we have our one cup of nonfat plain yogurt. It's not Greek yogurt. A lot of times we do use Greek yogurt in our recipes. Um, I don't think that that would be a bad thing to do, uh, but you do kind of want it to be a little bit liquidy uh, in order to bind the rest of your ingredients together. So that Greek yogurt might be just a little bit thick for this purpose. We have our half cup of shredded cheddar cheese. You can use a low fat variety or you can use, you know, mild, sharp, whatever you really prefer. And then we have um, a quarter cup of our Parmesan cheese. Go ahead and add that in. And then our produce items. We have um, half a cup of our mushroom stems. So you saw me put those back in the bowl. You wanna keep those and just chop up a few of them and we're gonna add that to our mixture. Half a cup of red bell pepper. I tried to chop these smaller than I normally would uh, chop a pepper, knowing that I was gonna be putting it in these small mushroom caps. So uh, just be a little bit mindful of that. Sometimes I like to leave my pieces of peppers a little bit bigger, but this might be a recipe that you wanna chop them a little bit more finely. And then our 3 fourths cup of bran flakes. Now that might seem like a really odd ingredient. Um, we'll we'll kinda of mash these around um, and stir it up together. But the bran flakes are gonna give it that little bit of crunch uh, that you know we love with these baked, um, kind of like a casserole, how you want some kind of crumb topping on top of it. Those bran flakes kind of provide the same effect. So you can see that's mixed together. And so now's the time that we're gonna add in our cauliflower. And it just helps to kind of get some of those other ingredients a little bit more homogenized first before we add in our cauliflower. So we'll do that. And then we'll go ahead and add our spices as well, which was salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So this is our final mixing stage. We just need to get this all combined and worked together so that we can scoop this into our mushroom caps. Uh, this is a really delicious recipe. I am not the biggest mushroom person in the world, but I have tried it and I do think that it's very tasty. So I think this might be a good way to get some other folks in your family to maybe try mushrooms or cauliflower if it's not something that they're as used to eating as you are. Um, so we'll go ahead and finish this mixing. I'm gonna take my masher now that I have this in a bigger bowl and just kind of uh, get it just a little bit more just to kind of blend it together. If you feel like your pieces aren't small enough, you can do this again at this phase just because you want it to be all kind of one, one unit together. Okay, that's much better. Set that aside. So we have our colorful uh, veggie mixture here, and this is what we're gonna use to stuff our mushrooms with. So I'm gonna pull my mushrooms to the front and I have one of those little baller disher uh, utensils and this is super, super helpful. Uh, you can totally do this with a spoon um, or whatever other utensil you have, but just from experience, I have found that this little, this little guy makes it really easy to just scoop it out right on top of your mushrooms and it makes it look nice too. Um, so you can, you can get enough of your filling in 
without it overflowing when you do it this way. So just kind of fill in on top of each mushroom uh, with your scooper. And then what we'll be doing is baking this in our oven at 325 degrees. So you can have that preheated already if you've thought ahead. And then um, it'll bake for about 20 minutes. So it'll get to smelling really fragrant and good and you will have a delicious appetizer on the way. So this takes just a few minutes to get spread out, but I also wanted to touch on, since we're talking about cauliflower, if you find that you have some extra cauliflower or you would like a few other things to do with it, cauliflower is really popular to use instead of rice these days. I don't know if you've heard of riced cauliflower, but you can use that as a lower carbohydrate option for anything that you would use rice for. So if you really like dishes that contain rice, you could consider using cauliflower as a substitute for some of the, for some of the rice. There's also cauliflower pizza crusts that are really popular now. You might be able to find a pre-made one frozen in your local grocery store, uh, or you could get adventurous and try and make your own. <laughs> So um, this is a healthier version of this recipe, of a, you know, appetizer recipe, because these are normally have a lot of um, heavier cheeses or uh, more fatty sour creams, cream cheeses, um, but these really just contain the yogurt and then a little bit of cheese instead of all of the full fat dairy products. So this really is a healthy alternative. And like I said, it's safe too because we don't have to all be touching the same thing. They're kind of little individual pop in your mouth, bite-sized pieces. So right now I'm just sprinkling this with paprika to give it that nice glow on top. And these are gonna be super tasty, like I said, ready in 20 minutes in your 325 degree oven. So if you would like more information or if you would like to try this recipe, you can contact barry.hyatt at nctc.com or you can search Plate It Up Kentucky Proud in your Google search bar or find us on Facebook at Plate It Up Kentucky Proud for this recipe and many others. So thanks for watching. Have a safe and happy tailgating season and have a great rest of your day.